to Hidden in God. Um, I'm Dorlita Blakely. For those who may be new or those that don't know, and for those that already know me, welcome back. Um, today, I just want to take a moment to talk to you about persistence and what that means um, according to the word. So if I had to give this a title, it would be persistence is key. So um, the scripture that I found today to talk about this is in Colossians 4 and 2. And it says, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. And we know that the Bible talks about prayer and we know how important it says that prayer is. We know the scripture that says um, continue in prayer um, or pray without ceasing. And I know as we get to the end of the year, um, we've taken all of 2018 and we've prayed from the beginning. We've had some things that we've asked God to do. There are some things that he came through on and there are some things that, um, if I must say, this year has been a trying year and there's some prayers that I have prayed that have not yet been answered. But I do not see those as God is not answering them. We know that if God does not answer them, that means either there is something better for that he has for us or there was something down that path that would have been a hindrance or would have been um, detrimental to us. So there is a song um, that I've listened to that I really like that says, um, she said, the, the songwriter says, thank you for not answering my prayers. And when I think about that, um, we can pray amiss in some things. Sometimes we think that we're in the will of God and we're praying for things that we want and that's not really the will of God and we should be praying for what he wants. So my prayer over the last week or so has been um, that I pray for the things that God would have me, wh whatever is in his will and not just the things that I want. And I thank God that he does not answer every prayer um, because there are things that I want. But when he does not, that doesn't mean that we stop praying. The prayer, if he if he doesn't answer something that we've prayed for, our next prayer should be, Lord, show me what I ought to pray for. So that leads me to why we should be in um, a consistent relationship with, with God. Why we sh should be on our faces um, at all times. Why we should be continually praying throughout the day so that we do hear what it is that God has for us, whatever his will is, whatever his way is, whatever direction that he wants us to go in, we will be going in that direction and not in the opposite direction. So we have to continually pray so that we hear the voice of God. And if we're, we're distracted by what we desire, which is not what he desires, then we can get off into something else. And I know that that may be a lot to take in. Um, but the, the goal and the message today is to be consistent, to be persistent in prayer. The Bible says that we should ask. He, he's waiting for us to ask him for things that we want. And just as we go, our, our children come to us and they ask us for things. And we know if it's something that they need um, or something that we should give them, or if it's something that we know down the line is going to cause trouble for them. Our father knows that much more about us and whether or not we need them. But yet we, as we, we, as parents wait for our children to ask us for things. And I'm, for example, I'm, I have a teenage daughter and there are times that there are some things that I know that she needs. I'm just waiting for her to ask me and I'm waiting for her to ask me because I do not want her to think that I'm just always gonna provide it without her putting in some sort of work or her opening her mouth and knowing that she has to ask for these things because it's not always, it's, it's a lesson because it's not always gonna be me who's gonna be there to provide for her. So she has to learn how to ask for the things that she wants. So uh, I was taking her, today was her first day of work. And I was taking her to work, her and her friend, and I heard them talking. And they're having this party for the last day of school before um, the the holiday vacation. And they were talking, her friend was asking her, well, what, what are you going to bring to um, the party on tomorrow? And I noticed that she said, 
she told them she wasn't bringing anything. She was just going to bring herself. And I kind of feel like she may have thought that um, she didn't want to ask me to get something for her, for her to have for the party, because she kind of got used to working and being able to get those extra things on her own that she wanted for those kind of things, which I tend to lean towards her doing to encourage her to help set her up for when she leaves home, when she gets ready to go off to college. And um, so she didn't ask. And I almost asked her, well, what do you need for this party? Do you need something? Are you supposed to bring something? But I had to stop myself because I want her to ask, ask me to just take her to get something for the party. And I will do that. But she has to know that she can come to me and she can ask me those things. She does not have to be afraid. And if she asks, then she'll receive it. And our father does that much more for us. If we ask him, then we shall receive it. And he knows, just like I knew, that this is something that she kind of needs for school. Everybody else is going to bring something. She should not be a kid who's not bringing anything. So our father does the same thing for us in the kingdom. There are people that we are surrounded by who are bringing things to the kingdom. Come on, somebody. They're bringing things to the kingdom. And we are with these people. We should be bringing something to the kingdom as well. We are... We are called to be givers in the kingdom of God and God will provide what it is that he would have us to give for his people. And everything that he gives us is not for our own selfish desires. It's not for us to hold on to it, but to share with somebody else or, 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 or fulfill a need that is in the kingdom. So um, I just want to tie all of that in to say, be persistent in your prayers. Prayer is key persistence is key. I mean, the enemy is always doing his job. He is always <laughs> walking around busy trying to stop the plans of God. The, he's trying to stop us from fulfilling the calling and the purpose that God has placed on our lives. And as he does that, we have to have this strategic plan in place. And that strategic plan is prayer. It is prayer. It is staying in tune with our father to know, hey, this is what's going on. I need my father to give me the instructions or the the whatever strategy I need to defeat the enemy in this area. When they made um, war plans, there was somebody who was at the head. There was, there's, I can't even get into all of the, the ranks in an army or um, but there is a, a chain of command and there is somebody who has to go and ask somebody at a higher level what it is they need to do as they prepare for this war. That That is what we have to do. We have to go to our father because we are always in some sort of battle in this grand war. We're in a battle and we need a strategy. We need direction. We can't just run off all wild and nilly dilly doing whatever we want to because the enemy is going to bust us upside the head and send us back with our tail tucked between our legs. Asking, I, I mean, going into a depressed state because we've lost a fight. So in order to keep from doing that, we have to have a strategic battle plan and we can only get that battle plan. It's not in our own strength. It is in the strength of our father. We have to be in tune with him through prayer. So when he says, move this way, this is your move. Like the game of chess, he gives you a strategic move. You have to learn how to play chess. We have to learn how to get into God and find out what our next move is. So I'm saying that because this is this year is coming to a close and I believe that God is going to do some things in this next year and we have to be in a place of persistent prayer in order to get everything that God has for us. So I just thank you guys for taking the time out to listen. If this did anything for you, please, I just admonish you to um like to leave a comment let me know what you think about these chime in please and share it with somebody else who may need the word who may need to know that they need to they have to stay persistent in prayer and stay consistent this is not a one time a day prayer when i say persistent i mean throughout your day the same way that you have a conversation with your spouse with your boss with your co-worker with your family with your friends the way you conversate with whoever you are next to on a daily basis you need to have that same 
enthusiasm, that same audacity to speak with your heavenly father throughout the day. That is being persistent. When there is something that you truly want, you truly want, you will be as persistent as you need to be in order to get it. So I'm saying be as persistent as you need to be to stay in connection with your father coming into this next year. I believe that he is, I, I mean, he is going to do some amazing things and we don't have time to go into a state of depression. We don't have time to sit back and say, woe is me. We don't have time to look at somebody else and say they getting it, but I'm not. Focus on what you're supposed to be doing. I'm saying going into 2019, we need to have tunnel vision. And in that big, that the focus of that vision needs to be God. Seek him first and everything that, seek him first and his kingdom and everything that we are in need of, he will provide for us. We won't have to want or lack for anything as long as we stay in him. And if he does not give it to us, he will yet still supply and take care of us. It may not look like what we think it should look like, but he will definitely do it in the way that is best for us. So again, I thank you for listening. I thank you if you even made it this far into the video. Stay tuned for whatever comes next. Please, there's the I have the Hidden in God app. If you've not downloaded, I admonish you to download it. Come and just get a, a fresh word from God every day. There is something that will hit your uh, mobile device that will encourage you on a daily basis. It will hit you in the mornings. It will hit you at, in the middle of the day when you need it. And it will hit you at night um, before you go to bed. And you can um, submit your prayer requests. We can connect in there. We can have conversations. Um, you can read devotionals, get a daily word. It's there for you. It's there for me. It's not just for you, but it's for me also. Um, I thank you for listening, and I will see you the next time. Thanks. Bye.